okay so let's assume we are logging in into a server so we use the command ssh username alias ip address then press enter next type the password next we will make a directory let's call it geometry and press enter let's go inside that directory cd space geometry next there's nothing inside here we type ls to check we make another directory let's call it sales department and press enter we ls and now we type ls dash la or short form ll so let's make another directory and we have two directories in this folder so as we can see the directory permissions are set so let's add a new user we call it john1 or john2 let's type the new password for the new user retype the password we can skip this part and we have added the user john2 let's add a new group by using this command sudo group add sales2 let's clear the screen and type ll next we are going to use the chown command followed by the username john2 space the folder name sales dpt and press enter and we can see that the sales department user has been set to john2 next we will use the ch group command chgrp space sales2 the group name is sales2 and the folder name is sales department we type the ll command we can see that the sales department the group has been set to sales2 next we will learn another command which is called the ch mode ch m o d space 700 sales department enter so this command we can look at this settings here so it will actually let's check it out it will actually change the only the owner can access this folder so the setting there is rwx the rest of it is dash next we're going to run the ch mode command again and this time we put 770 followed by the folder name and we press enter and now let's check how the structure is we type ll press enter we can see that 770 allows the user and the group to access this particular folder now if you use 777 followed by the folder name this will open full access for everyone so we can see that the last three alphabets are also set to rwx so ch mode command allows you to specify what are the type of settings you want to set for a particular folder or file depending if you want the user to access or the group to access 
or others to access. So this is a summary of the ch mode command. So let's uh, learn another option for ch mode where we have an application inside the folder. So this is an application. It won't be running automatically unless we specify a certain attribute. So this is called plus x. So ch mode plus x app name and we can see there the x attribute has been set for user, group and others. So this allows anyone to run this application or execute this application. Thank you.